All right, I just started the recording. Make sure we don't get any screw. Just do it like this. All right. Uh, so think, okay, Tracy's back. Tracy, you got your audio this time? I believe there is a security setting. I wasn't sure who who said that, but uh, that there's a security setting in the browser. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're a few minutes late already. Um, so, first of all, thank you for taking the time and and uh, again for being part of the group. Uh, and do, am I missing anybody in the attendee list? So I kind of took uh, I kind of took. Well, first of all, you can see my screen. Yes. Yes. Yep. Yes. Okay, excellent. All right, so I just kind of took a roll call based upon who's Visor 16? Or no. I'm not sure who Visor 16 is. fly on the wall. <laughs> oh, no, it's fine. Here's John Ballard again. Who's your Mathis? Nice. So it's listing me twice. Well, one as my webcam and one as my phone. All right. Are, are you Visor 16? Do what? Are you Visor 16? No, I don't think so. Okay. It would be useful to know who Visor 16 is. And I know it looks like they connected to the audio. Who's Visor 16? Be anonymous. All right. Am I missing anybody in roll call here? Anybody not seeing your name? All right. Excellent. All right. So today's agenda. So we're going to. Oh, the visor 16 is Spain. <laughs> All right. So this is our agenda today. Uh, we're going to review our part. I plan to review it. Try to keep them uh, top of mind. Um, and then we're going to discuss the leaders meeting, uh, leadership meeting that uh, we had yesterday with the Indian Corp of the Andy. Um, we're going to uh, look at any progress we might have, might have had since the last month, and we're going to set the goals for next. Month. And we're going to review our long-term goals, and then we'll have open forum for anything else that we need to discuss. Anything that anybody wants to bring up. All right. <clears throat> so our primary goals. Let's go move. All right there we go. Uh, so. Like, like I said before, well, this is, since this isn't our job, you know, I just ask, like, you do at least two things a month. Um, they can be small, they can be big, uh, whatever they are, uh, you know, that, that should be our overall goal as, as a group. Everybody just at least do something kind of, uh, you know, anything at all, like at least two things. Um, and, and overall, what, what my, uh, my overall goal with us is to generate a snowball effect. At the end of the day, what should, we should be doing is inspiring everybody else to do the thing that that causes awareness, right? Because uh, awareness is not just a job for us, it's a job for everybody. Um, and so that snowball effect, again, is, you know, helping other people do some of these things. So letting people know that they can blog and encouraging to blog, you know, have, telling them like, oh, you know, somebody says, hey, I did this really cool thing, check this out. Like, oh, hey, you should tweet about that. And, and then you're retweeting it and things like that. Um, so helping everybody else get in the, get in the pattern and, and, and the habit of, of doing these things as well. And then keeping constant contact with each other. And, and so, uh, I've got more to say about that later. And, and any questions about our primary goals? No, we're good. No? All right. Okay, so yesterday, uh, so we had our, uh, uh, our EAG leadership meeting review, um, or, or excuse me, meeting. <laughs> so uh, every, all, all the leaders were there except for Sean. Uh, uh, he was on PTO, so he was uh, not to be, uh, he was, he was uh, spending time with his family. Um, so everything that I presented, and I, I put the link of the deck uh, in uh, in Slack. Uh, so I think some of you all, a few of you at least, were able to review that before uh, I uh, before the meeting, which was awesome. Thank you so much. And 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 so we're going to review the slide deck in just a moment. As soon as I turn down my phone, there we go. <clears throat> um, uh, let's see here. So action items. So uh, we'll get to action items after I review the slide deck with you. What I just, what we did. One second. So the slide deck was basically, you know, the 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 what I presented to Andy and the group was basically throwing out every great idea that that we've had. Uh, well, most great ideas that we had. Uh, you know, we got a 
not put them all out there, uh, but the things I think we could do. Um, so one of the things I did was talk about the mission statement, which I'm going to go over in more detail with us in a little bit. Uh, but some of the goals that I put forth. So uh, again, I presented them that we're going to we're going to try to do a snowball effect, right? You know, the, the proverbial snowball goes down a mountain, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and then you just can't stop it, right? Um, so increased uh, uh, DNN downloads, 5% uh, quarter over quarter. The more DNN is downloaded, uh, presumably the more it's being used, right? And the more people that are using it. Uh, increased DNN site registrations by 5% quarter over quarter. Uh, so that's something that's going to happen organically based upon a lot of the other things that we do. Uh, increased DNN hashtag usage um, by 5%. Uh, so that's something that's, that's again, that we, we do have a direct impact on, uh, especially as we start to hear people doing various things or we're doing things ourselves. Uh, you know, letting the world know, um, especially if we can give a link or a screenshot, anything that we can. Uh, increasing uh, DNN forms uh, usage and, and the question, the Q&A section. Uh, that one is also going to be something that kind of happens a little bit more organically. But as we see people like asking questions in, in certain places, you know, uh, uh, it might be something where maybe we can encourage them to use that area. Um, now, uh, with that being said, you know, we don't want to discourage people from using anything that. Uh, works for them. So, like, if people are using Stack Overflow or Facebook and it's working, then that's fine. Uh, but if if they haven't even like tried that yet, then you know, maybe the forums is a place to go. And and you know, there's a handful of us that are constantly keeping an eye on the forums, and that's great. Um, so, uh, even if you don't know the answer to something, uh, you know, it would it would be great if you could like pass it around. Like, hey, I don't know the answer to this, but I know Don knows the answer to this. So, hey, Don, why don't you check this out? That kind of thing. Um, five plus blog blogs on a DNS site. That doesn't mean every person. That means that uh, you know, as a group, we we'll try to get five, five at least five, blo uh, five blogs on on, the, on the DNS site properties uh, per month. Um, two YouTube tutorials, I think. Is that, Addison didn't make it again? Let me see here, because I was thinking about him specifically, because like he's already kind of doing that. Uh, no, Addison. Well, uh, Addison uh, sent an email earlier today to you that if you have oh, a did page, probably. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah, um, I was I was scrambling to even have my breakfast before this meeting. So <laughs> apparently there was an earthquake today um, overnight, and I slept through it. So I got that going for me. <laughs> All right, um, and then one new training course per quarter. Um, so on whatever third party site, and then uh, five new or updated open source extensions per quarter. And I said extensions was, uh, um, intentionally. Um, because, you know, I think we're already doing pretty good with modules. I think that happens a lot already. Um, I'm really, really uh, trying to focus on, on themes. Like, we need to generate a lot more designer-related resources out there. Uh, okay, so strategy. So basically, there's a two-pronged strategy that, that I'm looking at for us. You know, there's, there's one where it's, um, it's kind of obvious, where we somehow directly reach out to the ecosystem out there, not our own ecosystem, but outside of our own ecosystem to the general uh, ecosystem to create new members, right, and, and let them know DNN exists. And then the other side is, um, you know, empower, you know, rewarding the folks that are already doing things, right, or that are already using DNN. And, and, and basically creating a brand advocate that's going to be doing these things on our behalf, right? And, and so, uh, you know, it, sometimes that reward is nothing more than, hey, that's a great job. That, is, that was really awesome what you did. Um, and, and, you know, people get excited about those types of things. So positive, positive reinforcement goes a long, long way. And so that's the strategy. And, 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 and everything that we do should reach upon one of those two areas. And feel free to, like, jump in with any questions about anything that I'm, I'm talking about. And these are the pro programs that I'm looking at uh, us starting in the uh, short and long term. Uh, so eventually bringing back the Superfan contest, uh, uh, bringing back the annual theme and module contest. Uh, that's something we used to have a long time ago. Um, uh, and, you know, the MVP program is something more, more along the lines with Clint, but, uh, you know, something that we can probably help with as well. Um, creating bounties for strategic modules and themes. And, and what I mean by strategic module or theme are things that, uh, could make DNN stand out or give DNN a little bit more of a, a you know, something that, that people start talking about it, like, you know, or things that are missing even. Um, things that were like, you know, the, I always use WordPress because it has this one extension and DNN doesn't have that. Um, you know, that type of thing. Uh, so some of it's catch up and some of it's uh, strategic in terms of technology. So like some of, the, one of the, some of the things that we used to take for granted uh, back, in, back in the day, uh, as they say, is when new things came out, there was always somebody 
you know, adding that to the core or adding it to a core extension. And so that way there was always like a best practice example or just an example in general. Um, because it's difficult for, for new folks to uh, know that you can do these things and especially how to do these things with uh, you know, whatever new technology is out there. Uh, speaker sponsorship. So sponsoring speakers to go to user groups and conferences, uh, helping them get, get to those places. Um, and having an annual or semi-annual uh, online user conference. So like doing something where the folks that don't get to travel or don't have that opportunity uh, from around the world, they can have a conference as well. With, with uh you know with us or whoever you know our speakers and whatnot, um, and then uh, trying to introduce uh, DNN to university and high school curriculums. Um, that's something that we've tried to do in the past a few times, um, but it's uh, something that we definitely can do uh, in the in the short term. Uh, and then group stipends. And what I mean by group stipends is uh, for like if we if we were able to set uh, certain goals for you know individuals like if we were able to meet, meet those goals and uh, you know giving a stipend for for actually achieving that goal so that way you know kind of helps us you know validate our time against some of these things. Any questions about the programs? What exactly do you mean by bounty, Will? So if there like let's say let's say for example there wasn't a discuss module out there you know integrating discuss into DNN. Um, and, and we, we decided that that strategically would be a great thing for DNN to have. We absolutely, absolutely need it. Uh, we could put a bounty out there saying, hey, community, um, you know, we need this particular module. Whoever, whoever create, creates it first that, you know, within these particular requirements and parameters, uh, you win this bounty. That's so, cool. you know, let's say it's 500 bucks or whatever. Okay. All right. Um, so some of the resources I asked for, um, you know, uh, and, and I, I still have work to do on this, but these are, this is just what I presented. Uh, but, you know, looking for ca uh, Camtasia Studio licenses, for example, so for folks that want to make videos, uh, make it easier for them. Um, you know, stipends for members making quotas, like I just said, you know, like if, if they somebody committed to five blogs in a month, you know, and they, they got all five, you know, they get whatever, right? And, and whenever we set those stipends, they would definitely be specific to the effort, right? So like if somebody committed to one blog and somebody committed to five blogs, you know, there obviously would be a difference in stipend for that. Um, and then bounty for open source theme packages. Um, so, you know, and, and that might be part of the theming contest maybe, but uh, we definitely need a lot more themes out there um, that are free and open source and, and definitely things that are more contemporary and whatnot. Um, stipend community, you know, general community mem members that commit to DNN conference sessions. So that's the, uh, Kind of following the INETA model, uh, for those of you that might remember INETA in the past, where I, uh, INETA was sponsored primarily by Microsoft, and, and uh, people could go there and find a speaker and, and ask for the speaker, and then the speaker would be able to go to whatever the user group or the conference was, and, and INETA would sponsor that partially. Um, and then uh, having a program to where, you know, whenever anybody says, you know, something positive about DNN, without, like, not advertising this, saying, like, not without, like, saying, hey, this is something that would happen, but just surprising somebody with like, hey, hey, th thanks for thanks for mentioning us online. Here's a shirt or here's a, here's a sticker, you know, for your laptop or whatever. Um, let's see here. Uh, sponsored uh, development uh, to improve so uh, DNSoftware.com. So there's things that we need to, uh, as a community that we need to have happen on the website, such as improving the registration experience and the site showcase and adding user groups back to the site and and uh, restoring and enhancing the leaderboard functionality. Uh, creating a speaker portal, so you know that way, you know there could be you know canned presentations, there could be you know ideas for for abstracts. Um, it could be a way for people to find speakers and and you know ask for them and, and maybe get them sponsored, and, and speakers can advertise themselves. Um, one of the things I asked for, um, I'm not sure how far this will go, but uh, uh, you know I, I feel like there should be a dnsoftware.org version where. You know, we, we have the .com that, you know, that obviously has a book on there, has community on there and whatnot, but, you know, th there needs to be uh, some way for the average person to know that DNN exists and be able to touch it without having to have any technical background whatsoever. Um, and, and so that's something that I'm, I'm, uh, I'm trying to see if we can get uh, done as well. Um, <clears throat> And then public uh, group dashboard. Uh, so these two dashboards might be the same dashboard, so these top two bullet points. Um, but w we need a dashboard that helps us understand what we're doing and what impact we're having. And I think it should be public. 
uh, so that way everybody can see are, are we doing this and who's doing it and, and, and how good of a job are we uh, doing. And then I also ask for graphic designer support because we, as a community, we, we desperately need that and we lack that. And okay, so that's well, that's why I presented to Andy. Um, uh, and so my next steps with that is to formalize the strategy and prioritize the activities. And then I need to set the requirements for them and 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 determine what the budget is for those items. So that's what I have to do with that. So any questions on the on the plan that I put forth uh, yesterday? I, I'd like to know what his reaction was. It was all positive. Um, the only thing that I, I, I kind of got to any kind of feeling like he was not sold on was the uh, was this was this idea right here about the humansoftware.org. Uh, I, I, he was definitely not sold on that. And I completely understand why, um, but it's definitely something that, as a community, that we need. Did he, did he say anything why he wasn't in favor of something like that? Um, we we he didn't he didn't say why. I, I just was reading his body language and his tone that he you know he's like I don't know if we can do that. Um, but everything he didn't have anything even remotely negative to say about anything, including that. That was like the closest to negative. Like. Um, he basically said all this is, is all these were good ideas and we just need to, you know, uh, hone it down. Well, there was a day when uh, folks, uh, GoDaddy and other types of hosting companies, as well as some of the uh, preeminent DNN hosting companies would offer, uh, you know, a one click DNN uh, install, that kind of stuff. Uh, you don't see that very much if you if you find a hosting company, a smaller one that has it, you'll find a version four DNN or something that's uh, that you can click on to install. So uh, that would be an idea to uh, 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 counter the DNN software dot org or at least find another outlet for that, I suppose. That would just be a matter of contacting those folks and saying, "Hey, are you offering such a you know an easy way to do it?" Most of the DNN um, uh, hosting companies, the companies who advertise DNN, uh, will uh, install the DNN and just give you the uh, you know, host name and password or an admin name and password to get going. Uh, so, uh, uh, and their costs, uh, some of them are, are are higher and some of them are very low. So, uh, just promoting. Uh, you know, directing people, you can't really uh, uh, put one over the other, uh, but uh, you, you can certainly direct people to, here are, here's a list of companies that will get you started very quickly. Yeah, like, if DNN Corp doesn't want to do that, we definitely have enough resources in our community to make that happen. Um, so it's not, it's not that it's impossible. Uh, it's just whether or not it's something um, that somebody's willing to tackle, right? And, and we got a section in our meeting today where we're going to talk specifically about champions for various ideas. So um, any other feedback about um, what I presented? Uh, another question, and I mentioned this yesterday on Slack, and that is what DNN um, uh, Corp is, uh, how they're promoting DNN platform uh, compared to how they promote Evoke. And when you go to the home page of DNN and assume that you don't know anything about DNN except someone says uh, you're, you want to build up a website, well, you should consider DNN. Um, so you go to DNN software and you start reading. And what I got out of it was DNN is a company. So there's some company that's named DNN and they have this product called Evolve. And that's what you do. You buy the product. So there's no mention on the home page of a um, uh, of uh, an open source community or system. It's pretty much just that. And it would be helpful, I think, that uh, DNN Corp makes that clear um, and it would certainly help us. And if they don't, then maybe we need a place where we can send people that explains uh, this is what it is. DNN platform is open source. If you like the commercial version, they call that Evoke. It has a couple of interesting additional things plus uh, uh, subscription support and, you know, and explain to people what the difference is so that they can decide for themselves where they want to go. Well, I mean, I don't think that that's, I mean, for DNN Corp, always traditionally, and most, most companies uh, have this as an issue as well, 
you know, but I, I think they already are doing uh, some of this uh, where they're like saying, hey, there's these two different things. Could they do better? Yes. Um, but that's like, you know, that's something I think we, I've already started to see a shift on uh, on the site specifically. Uh, and, and Andy, at, every time I hear him speak, whether it's at, you know, one of our leadership meetings or otherwise, that's something he brings up. Um, so I know he's aware of that and, and, and something he wants to do. Yeah. Well, he's talking specifically about the home page, though, and I yeah. agree with him completely. That home page does not paint a picture that an outsider can understand. Right. Exactly. Yeah, point. Go and read Clint, through it. Yeah, it basically says what I just said. The DNN is a company that has a product called Evoke, and that's what you get out of the home page, period. Right, yeah, so, you know, Will, one of the things you, you make at um, – and I know you're taking notes here, but uh, when Andy's asking, like, hey, what does the awareness group want? Then we can say, well, we want an updated homepage, you know, uh, obviously as for starters and, not, you know, different areas of the site, too. But maybe we can put some, some resources toward that. Yeah. Well, and I, I think it goes beyond just the homepage. Just the entire messaging of DNN software needs yeah. to be clearer that, you know, what is the DNN platform and what is the difference between platform and evoke and right. how is how does the company make money yet still support the free version? Yeah, no, I, I agree. I, you know, we, they had just brought up the, the homepage. So, I mean, it does need to stem throughout the, uh, or be consistent throughout the site. This, this brings up a question in my mind. I don't know if it's the right place to, to time to ask it, but it's, it's related about um, liquid content being rolled in the platform. Has anybody heard any anything solid on that? When that's going to happen? Uh, they were originally looking at 9.2, um, but I don't think it's going to make 9.2. It's going to come after that. And I, I forget the date for 9.2, but it's like this month or next month or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, there just wasn't enough time to get it completely in, uh, backported, but it's still coming. So maybe Q Q two then maybe is that worth looking uh, at? Maybe uh, yeah, uh, we're going to know more about that at our next meeting, which was that next week, Clint. Uh, two weeks. So you and I have a meeting in a week, and then there's you know two weeks. Yeah, so yes. We'll get, an on, we'll get an update on that then. Okay, because because from my standpoint, that's a big deal. No, it's a big deal for the entire. Team. DNN yeah. severely lacks in structured content, and and yeah. like every other CMS out there that's popular. Um, actual CMS, it has structured content as a built-in feature. Um, we, we haven't had that. Yeah, that's, that's kind of necessary. Hey, Clint, uh, the meeting, I, I have it on my schedule for next Tuesday, or next Thursday, the 11th, at 4 o'clock, the MVP meeting. Is that not true? Yeah, so we're talking about different meetings here. You're referring to the MVP meeting, and that is still on schedule. Um, okay. And, uh, we're talking about the ecosystem advisory group leaders have reoccurring meetings with uh, Dean and Corp CEO. Gotcha. All right. Uh, any more feedback about the slide deck so we can move through the rest of this? No? Okay. Uh, for, for, for those of you that were able to uh, help with that little fire drill we did yesterday morning, thank you so much uh, for helping with that. I uh, really appreciate that. Thank you. All right, so talked about strategy. Okay, so that came from the previous slide deck. And okay, so this is what I'm seeing, uh, and, and this is something that kind of has feedback from Andy and also uh, matching our strategy. But I think the first thing that we need, there's no way that we can do things and know what impact we're having without having some way to measure it, right? And so I think as a group, the first thing we need to do is figure out how to get a community uh, dashboard um, uh, built that shows like we're doing these these particular pieces of activity and and we're on track right you know it's it's uh, you know we're we're meeting our goals we're exceeding our goals um, you know we're, we're we're not meeting our goals uh, all those things so we definitely need that as a as a first step to do that um, before anything else we before because otherwise we're not going to be able to say that we are doing our job. Right, we're 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 having an impact. We're we're doing what we said we would. Um, so we definitely need that to be done. And and I'm saying a dashboard because we, then we can put it on the site, 
and everybody can see it. And that's going to hold us all accountable, right, to each other, to ourselves. Um, and everybody's going to get an idea of that. Um, and let's see here. So the second thing is a uh, speaker program portal. So, you know, it, it, this goes along, you know, with trying to reach out to those that aren't yet aware of DNN or were D, you know, aware of DNN years ago and, and we're doing some great things. And now we got a speaker in front of them showing them some of the progress that's been made because they haven't been paying attention anymore. Um, so creating a speaker program and portal to where folks can, you know, get some of those resources and, and the speaker can be found, the speaker can be sponsored. Um, you know, speaker can get ideas for sessions uh, or starter materials for sessions and whatnot. Uh, and then the, the, the third one uh, is, uh, you know, bring back the user group program portal on our website. And a few of you already know, but like, uh, that's something I was uh, starting to uh, build uh, um, many months ago, maybe a year ago, um, where I've already done like, you know, the wire, wire uh, frames and stuff for the user group program uh, uh, module to bring it back. And it has specific requirements like integrating with uh, Meetup and, and, and so on. Um, so uh, that's something that we already have a little bit of work done. Um, when I was still at DNN Corp, we were actually trying to, uh, Scott Willard and I were trying to get a speaker program and portal running up there, uh, but we didn't, unfortunately, we didn't get very far. Uh, some other requirements came in and we didn't, we didn't get as far as we wanted to. Um, but but uh, these are the three primary goals, I think, or, and objectives that I think we can, uh, uh, that, that I think are the most important ones. Uh, it's not to say that we can't do anything else, but uh, I think these are, are the ones that should be our priorities. If there's any feedback on this? No feedback? No, this is good stuff. Uh, good stuff, Well, Really good. That's <laughs> <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> what I said. <laughs> awesome. All right. So follow up from uh, from last meeting. Uh, so we're doing our follow ups for uh, previous things that I talked about. Um, we didn't really we didn't really get very far on in Slack about like talking about the mission statement. And so this is the thing that's been in my head uh, since since I got approached for this is is just keeping it simple and not focusing on any particular group of people, but just trying to you know have something. Uh, that that drives what we do, right? And so if we're so this says increased awareness and usage of DNN across the world. Um, maybe it should be around the world actually. Um, and and so you know the idea here is if we're doing something, is it increasing both the awareness and the usage? Will it potentially do that, or is this just something that's gonna you know maybe you know do just maybe awareness or whatnot? So, um, so that that's kind of the idea that I have for uh, our mission statement. Uh, what do you guys uh, think? Whoa, no, Joe, <laughs> just trying to present. <laughs> Any feedback on this uh, on this statement? Do we need to keep kind of honing this down? You think it's good? I, like I think it. it's pretty good. yeah. I, I think it's pretty good. Also, at any point that we, we anybody feels like maybe we should update this, you know, just like a re, just like a real company, that's something we revisit. I, I know of uh, specific companies that they actually review their their uh, mission statement monthly. So, so if we need to revisit this, that's per perfectly fine. I think it dovetails with the partner group and maybe the developer group when you uh, when you add usage. Um, me, I like to see you know, your uh, uh, smaller organizations or medium-sized companies. Um, I, I appreciate what liquid content can do, and I do think it's the future. But I think for a lot of small businesses, it's the sci-fi future. They're not there yet. Uh, they need a replacement for WordPress. And from WordPress's perspective, it just starts up, and a few pages later, you have a website. So we need to have... Uh, just using the product as is, um, the DNN platform, I should say, as is, uh, and get that message out there and get many people to use it. Um, but the building awareness is the, is the key thing that I'd like to focus on personally. And mm -hmm. uh, some people will start using it, and then we can pass them over to the partners and developers for that. That's great, too. 
Yeah, all the groups are going to have overlap. In fact, I had a, um, a somewhat long meeting. Well, not long. I had a follow-up meeting that uh, was impromptu after our leadership meeting where, where one of the other leaders and myself, we, uh, we discussed that because uh, some of the things we presented, uh, they were definitely overlapping. So, um, And there's nothing wrong with that. That just means more of us are working on the important things and we're all, we all are agreeing on some of the things that are important, right? Hey, hey, well, as we as we go through this list, I'm I'm a I'm a big believer in you know, big buying and stealing ideas from other companies that are doing things well. And as we go through the list and, and looking at where we should be spending our time, is there um, any kind of review of what other companies like WordPress or Drupal or Sitefinity, you know, what are they doing well that we could steal ideas from uh, or get examples from? Yeah, that's definitely something you can do. If, so, if somebody already figured something out, then why re why reinvent the wheel, right? I'm totally a fan of that. So, like, any if there's anything specific uh, at any time, you know, this is this is a group effort. So um, we can definitely bring it up during a meeting or over Slack, and then you know, if, if it's something that we think is going to move the needle, so to speak, then let's do it, right? I guess I'm, I'm asking more out of a, kind of ignorance because I'm, I'm wondering if. You know, let's say WordPress has a really great promotional program for, uh, you know, promoting the promoting the platform or whatever, getting awareness out. Is there is there something specific that we can look at? And say, okay, this is what we should model our efforts after because they're doing it really well here, or maybe Drupal's doing something else really well. Whether it's a, you know, whatever it is, a speaker program or, or whatever it is. If, if you're aware of examples of that, maybe we could. Look at those under the bullet points of, you know, on the previous slides and say, okay, this is somebody that, that's doing this really well. We should go model our efforts like this. Um, there's never any shortage of great examples of, of these other platforms doing something good uh, or doing something well. Uh, you know, ever since I've been involved with DNN, that's always been the case. Um, and so um, there's definitely things like that. Like, for example, their, uh, their marketplaces uh, generally do a far better job than even a store does, much less what the Forge used to do. Um, you know, they, 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 it does a far better job of like letting people know up front about compatibility and 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 ratings and, and participation with with those in terms of ratings and feedback. Um, you know, uh, so so there's no shortage of that. There's there's plenty of examples in every single area, and especially because the DNN ecosystem in general has has been dormant in terms of activity right uh, and not not like not like activity like in just in general which you know of course that's gone down a little bit over the years but i'm talking about like people participating with the project um and so we we are basically there's a ton of low-hanging fruit right now and 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 so i identified the biggest pieces um so um so, so there's there's no great answer to your question. <laughs> there's a lot of answers to your question. Yeah. Let me throw another idea out here too: is is getting exposure on other third-party marketplaces. So rather than DNN being the, rather than DNN software being the only place you can go to find DNN plugins, uh, we should have visibility on places like uh, CodeCanyon.net. You know, I, I go there all the time to look at JavaScript plugins and. If you go there and look at their plugins page, they have an entire category for Drupal and Joomla and Magento and you know all these other CMS systems. No DNN. That's a shame. It should be. Um, you know, that would be a great place to get some exposure from people who are looking for something else and now they're going to get across DNN. I agree 100%. Um, th there was a point in time where DNN was on some of these other sites. Um, I think what happened was over time they stopped seeing as much activity in terms of like downloads or transactions or whatnot, and it came off. You know, it started to fall off the map. Um, I mean, we weren't in every place, but we were in a few places. I do remember that. Um, I, so part part of our mission to be able to do things like that is to you know grow the community, right? Grow the demand, um, and and so that's something that we definitely can do. <laughs> All right, uh, let's, so let's move on to the next item. Uh, so measuring success. So as I was mentioning, uh, the dashboard. So um, I, this is still an action item for me. Uh, I haven't been able to connect with Sean about the, the hotcakes uh, code um, for for the community uh, automation in terms of measuring. Um, so that's something I'm, I got on my plate for this next month. Uh, communications. So we chose Slack. We've already been using Slack. So far, it seems to be going pretty well. 
Uh, we haven't been assigning tasks yet, so we haven't yet used anything, but uh, I, I think we decided to uh, at least try Trello, see how it works. And we've already started using uh, Dropbox, seems to be working pretty well. Um, uh, Dina's site showcase. Uh, Clint, I know you had some updates. Uh, you blogged about it. You want to update us on, on uh, the site showcase, please? Yes. Uh, I mean, we uh, essentially went through and re kind of built. Well, I guess I should back up and say the showcase site, like functionality, was built using the first version of Liquid Content. Uh, and since then, there's been you know updates to that. So it was not easy to maintain or manage. Uh, I've worked with our sales engineer to, like, I guess, recreate it using a different visualizer um, and a different form. So it's easier to maintain now. So uh, there was a backlog of, like, 98 sites that had been submitted that were just sitting there. Um, so we went through those and um, verified the ones that were running BNN. We took screenshots and... The, the aspect ratio is not the greatest because the, the thumbnails have to be 300 by 300, but a lot of sites these days are, like, spanning wider. So it's kind of difficult. We also, one thing that you don't see on that site is that we resize it and take a screenshot of the mobile version. So in the future, potentially, we could have, like, a representation of the desktop plus the mobile maybe sitting side by side. Um, so the good news is that it is, uh, current, those sites are running BNN, and, um, and there's like way more sites in there now. There are some pretty good looking sites too. I mean, there were like three or four that I saw. I was like, man, this looks really good. So, um, yeah, especially those current, ones from Acuity. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, y'all did have some nice. Ones. Um, there were some, you know, nice real estate ones, just like I don't know, by the beach type places. Um, the only thing is that, uh, so like. You're right. Sean did write something. And I think in the end we do need this to be a custom module instead of with liquid content because, um, you know, Sean's module will actually, like, every so often it will reach out and ping the site to ensure that it is running BNN. And if it was not, then it would then take that site out of the listing, and it would also email the person and say, hey, you know, your site's been removed, uh, things like that. So um, right now – it's functioning. We're actively monitoring it. Anytime a site gets submitted, I get an email. Um, so it, I think, does look a lot, you know, better or, or, like, fresher than it used to. Moving forward, like, as a, you know, goal here in a different quarter or something, um, I think we should update it with, you know, a custom module that has a little bit more uh, functionality and flexibility. But I, I do think people like that, uh that it's been updated. Somebody on Facebook said, hey, we want to batch load like 30 of these to you. And I was like, oh, well, you got to do it one by one right now. So, but, yeah, I mean, we're we're open to, um, you know, if somebody has a different, um, I don't know, suggestion for how we present these. Uh, you know, you can filter them. They're different thumbnails. Um, so, yeah, Sean, Sean and I had a meeting. He he walked me through some of this stuff. Oh, I just, so, yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. He wrote this pretty fast too, actually. Um, and the poor guy. Then I made him. I forced him to make it a national module. But uh, <laughs> that's a whole other conversation. But uh, you know, it has a bunch of settings about like how to format it, a template, um, uh, and, and there's actually a, therm, a thumbnail service that he's using to generate the thumbnails uh, dynamically. So this screenshot machine thing, uh, size of thumbnails, where they're going. Um, the, the actual path for a file specific to the platform that, you know, verifies it, and then it validates, uh, I think, every 24 hours. Oh, no, it's 14 days. Yeah. Oh, no, 14 yeah, days. So that, that, that would help us ensure, you know, that all sites, because there were some that were sitting in there that were not running BNN, um, yeah. and, you know, we had to remove those. So, yeah, I mean, you could put as an update here that, like, it's currently active, functioning, and being monitored, and that, you know, in the future, we hope to, you know, update it again with a custom module that will, you know, maybe have a better display, and we'll do the audit verification. All right. Uh, thank you for the update, Clint. Um, yep. All right. So, so getting to the goals, uh, because uh, we need to, we have... To, uh, just over 10 minutes, and uh, the, there's a really important slide I want to get to. Um, let's see here. So uh, next month, 
we should have, as a group, have a goal to get five blog articles uh, published, um, two YouTube tutorials, which <laughs> Addison will probably end up doing regardless. Um, and then I'm going to have some answers from Sean. Um, and then through the first quarter of 2018, so uh, now through March, uh, we need to uh, get one training course up there, uh, out there somewhere. And then, um, you know, uh, ensure that there's at least five new updated open source extensions with an emphasis on uh, Teams. Uh, and then through the first half of the year, you know, these things start to double, and then, you know, through the rest of the year, this starts to triple or quadruple, right? Um, so just keeping an eye on these things. Once we have a dashboard uh, going, uh, some of we, you know, won't be able to just actually see these. So like in a meeting, we just pull up the, the dashboard and, hey, look, here's how we're doing. Um, so with that being said, we need to have some champions for some of these items. So uh, some of these, again, are going to be things that are organic, like the registrations and the form usage. Um, but uh, we, we need people to step up and say, hey, I'm going to participate in this item, and, and I'm passionate about this particular item, so let's, let's do this. So actually, the ones that are organic, I'm going to take out. Um, so is anybody that wants to check the dashboard? Fifty Shades of WordPress. What is going on in the peanut gallery? <laughs> so nobody wants to champion the dashboard. So everybody's like, hey, Will, you do everything. No. Is that what I'm no, that's just the first one. I, 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 I don't <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll come back to that. that anybody want to champion the speaker program? So that's going to involve, uh, you know, coming up with the, uh, ideas for, like, here's what needs to be in there, here's what it's going to look like, uh, here's how it's going to function, uh, and then, you know, it's going to have, you know, uh, an area where people can find folks. So, uh, and, and Joe, I completely understand, like, timing. So, you know, uh, some of this stuff is going to take that long, at least. <laughs> so, uh, anybody who want to champion the speaker program? <clears throat> It could be more than one person, too, so don't feel like you have to do this all on your own. Okay. Anybody want to be the champion for increasing downloads? Or hashtag use? Well, in the chat, Joe Craig said he would do the speaker program, but not this month. Okay. And, again, if anybody else wants to help out, you know, the more, the better. What are, the, right. what are the ideas behind increasing downloads? Does anyone have any ideas? I'm curious what we could do to increase downloads. I don't know. Well, that's going to be part of it. So, like, you know, in, in championing some of these things, uh, there's going to be you know, you're going to have to figure out the strategy behind how, how am I going to accomplish this particular item, right? Um, so that's completely up to you, uh, you know, if you were the person to championship, champion it, um, to come up with ideas like, Here, here's how I think we should do it, right? Because at the end of the day, the community in general has been doing the same thing for years. So if you come in here and say, hey, you know what, I, I have this idea, let's try it, let's do that, right? Hey, Will, um, Don Baller said he would assist with the user group. Oh, awesome. Will, is, is, the, is the dashboard something that's going to be put on DNN software? Is this like a custom module that we're going to write to, to monitor activity? Is that what the dashboard is? That, that's the idea, yes. Uh, I'll, I'll take that one on. This is Jay. Awesome. Thank you, Jay. I'll help with user groups. I'm going to definitely have to help you with that, too, because, you know, I have ideas for behind that. Yeah. Uh, I heard somebody say user group. That was me. It was me. Don. Also YouTube. Okay. Thank you, Doran. Hey, Will, um, uh, Lucas and I can help with a speaker program, and awesome. we would also like to champion the training course since we're already working on one. Sounds awesome. 
Thank you. If I can help with the training course, I'd be happy to help with you as well, Tracy. Who's that, Don? Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, go ahead. This is Jake, and I'd like to help with the extension. Um, Will, when you when you say blogs, are there specific topics, or for example, when say the new speaker program comes out, or when the dashboard is unleashed, do you need somebody just to write to summarize that? Because I mean, I, I could definitely help with that. Uh, we just need commitments to write blogs, right? And so I I put the bar very low. As a group, there's enough of us where we should be able to do ten. But I'm seeing five. Yeah. Right. Because well, there's some people who write multiple anyway already. There's some people who yeah. write one every now and then, like so. We just need people to commit to, like, hey, you know what? I'm I'm definitely going to have at least one this next month, or five over the quarter, or whatever. Gotcha. Well, I'm I'm happy to to help write and promote what you guys are doing. Uh, if 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 you guys would would rather you know post your own blogs, that's fine. I'm happy to ghost write blogs just to get started, and then you guys can post them as you. Um, it doesn't matter to me. I just you know getting the word out and showing activity uh, will be mm -hmm. the goal. I mentioned uh, uh, I mentioned about the user group stuff. Uh, Chicago's uh, user group is, is pretty quiet right now. Uh, it'd be great to resurrect that. And one great way of doing that is to just load it up with blogs and just uh, so people can go to it. So um, uh, you can put me down for blog as well. You may want to put Dennis Shaw down. I don't, I don't know. I mean, he's on PTA right now, but. Well, he, I guess he kind of technically is in our group, right? Yeah. I'll tell him I'm, I co-nominated him. <laughs> uh, thank you, Francisco. Uh, okay, so uh, are there any items that I, I mentioned earlier that you don't see on here that you'd like to champion? Hey, Will, what about just um, normal social posting and things like that? Is, does that come into play here, or is that uh, something different? Um, so I think that comes along, so the increased hashtag usage, this could, this could easily be, you know, just social media. Yeah, good point. Well, you mentioned earlier, like, uh, getting training courses, but yet, like, on different sites, you know, like, I don't know, Udacity, Plural Site, things like that. Is that under the training course that you're talking here? Yes. Yes. So at least one per quarter. So the goal is to have no less than four at the end of the year. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can add me to the hashtag. I mean. Yeah, you're already doing that. <laughs> And, and uh, we, we kind of all end up doing that a little bit, you and me, you and me and, uh, All right. So that was um, something. What about, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm just going to – I was going to ask, like, um, do we have, like, a champion of, like, you know, we're talking about the home page and messaging throughout the site. And, yes, that is, you know, on DNA Corp's table, but um, – I mean, I think Andy's open to, like, if somebody presented him with, um, I don't know, a mock-up or just suggestions. Like, do we have anybody who's very uh, strongly opinionated about what the home page should look like or what should be throughout the site that's not there? Um, yeah, there's I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know if that's a category you, you think we need to have, but it's something that we kind of discussed that I don't see here. Yeah. yeah I'd like to do a little bit that. I'm oh, sorry, who was that? Jay, and I think Don, you were talking about this too, right? Yeah, put me down for that. Right. And and uh, so, Tracy, I know in Slack you're talking about this a little bit. So Francisco is talking about re reaching the Spanish, uh, you know, maybe like subtitling videos. Um, so like if we. Francisco, I guess you can correct me if I'm wrong, but like if we create these YouTube tutorials, like you know Don's talking about, are you saying um, like just creating Spanish subtitles? Could could you provide those, or, or, or am I missing the boat? 
There's a setting in YouTube where you can, and this is new to me, uh, where you can specify that people can submit translations to videos. So as long as when the videos go up, you, you set that, uh, then you know, folks like Francisco can just like say, hey, I just translated this for you. Uh, anything else that we need to put up here for following up or for champions? Like, uh, is there anything else? Like, does one, somebody want to, uh, uh, I don't know, like anything else that we put up here? Anybody want to champion? What about theming? Well, well, this is Jeremy. You could add me to the homepage messaging, and I'm also very interested in being involved in the dashboard. Hey, well, you also we, we mentioned about um, universities and schools and, and trying to get more exposure uh, there. Is that something that we put on this list? Yeah, we definitely can. Yeah. So I'm going to put Clint on there because that's one of his passion points, um, and I, I think I want to be involved in that as well. Um, anybody else? Poindexter in the chat. All right. Yeah, I think, um, I think the thing with the, the, the curriculum or the schools is just most, mostly creation of curriculum, right? I mean, if you can go to a teacher and say, here's what you need to teach, here are your quizzes, here are your lessons, that's what they're looking for. And, and it's not because teachers are necessarily lazy, but it's, that's what they're used to. That's what these people who create curriculum, they go to them with a well-rounded um, you know, set of information. And I'm sure that in between all, all of us, we could create mm -hmm. it, but it would be... Uh, we would need to maintain it in an ongoing manner. So I think the curriculum should live somewhere online um, because if not, then things will get outdated, teachers will get frustrated, and then they'll go teach something else. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think um, not everybody realizes, knows this about you, Clint, but uh, Clint used to uh, be a teacher. So he's going to be critical to us uh, uh, doing that successfully. Cool. Should we add a, uh, a topic for themes, Will? If, uh, for if themes? Lucas and I would be all over that unless that's that's uh, wrapped up or part of the uh, the showcase. No, no, that's definitely something that needs to be on there. All right, so uh, we're, we're we're out of time. So real quick, uh, well, two things. First, uh, with the champions, it, it, I'm going to be relying on all of you to you know uh, uh, you know you basically create a subgroups here. So like everybody here that's that's chosen to. To, uh, champion certain areas um, throughout the next month and months to come. Uh, you know, maybe getting together over uh, uh, Skype or whatever it is to chat these things out. Put you know, put ideas down, put them into Slack and all those types of things. I'm going to rely on you guys to do those things. Um, so the last thing is open forum. So is there anything else that we need to discuss? Because we need to stop the meeting. Uh, we're one minute over. That's a good question, Mark. So in the chat, Mark says, do we want the awareness group to be named in our communications, blog entries, forum entries, et cetera? Do we want a moniker or a logo to help identify that? Well, I think I remember it was either you or Peter or somebody mentioned um, about needing some design support for a lot of this kind of effort. And that's not a bad idea to kind of brand the AAGs and do little sub-brands for each of them and, and all that. So that might, might be nice exercise if yeah. somebody's willing to step up to do that. Now, now, like, the more I'm, like, chewing on it, yeah. Uh, any other open forum uh, thoughts? Anything else we uh, want? Some anybody wanted to bring up? Did everyone did everyone get the invitation for the meeting in Denver? No, I don't think I did. Did that come, that did. come from your email, Joe? 
Uh, it probably did. Yeah, it did. I think it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mark says he didn't get it. Hey, uh, Joe, um, uh, why, uh, why don't you reach out to Mark over Slack? I don't want to, like, this is going to be a recording. I don't want to put emails over blast. Sure. I'll, uh, why don't I just create a, a channel on Slack for that thing, too, and put the details there? That's a good idea. There you go. All right. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. We're over time, and I want to respect your time. Um, so uh, if there's anything else, we can uh, discuss it over Slack or whatnot. But uh, thank you for your time today. Uh, thank you for your feedback. Thank you for participating and championing uh, these various items. We really appreciate it. And I'll get this video. I, I got the last video up yesterday. <laughs> I'll get this video up sometime today, I hope. All right. <laughs> Yeah, good work, Will. It's a lot, you know, there's it's a lot to do to put this stuff together and get us, you know, all, you know, working on the same page here. So go, good job. I appreciate yeah, it. Absolutely. All right, guys. Well, enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, enjoy the rest of your happy new year. I uh, hope you all had wonderful holidays, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank, Thank you. Bye. Right, Bye. Some of you next month.